you know, what's the best case scenario for you today? I want to make the best use of her time. I don't want to give you too much information. I don't want to give you too little. So you tell me when you reached out about solar, when you guys were interested, what is the absolute best case in the world um, of you in, in starting, a, starting this process? And then there's an opening statement that makes all of it 10 times easier. And it goes, now before we start, I just want to say that I'm not here to push you into buying anything today, especially if financially it just doesn't make any sense. My intentions on this call are to see how I can best help, tell you a little about my position and my company, then to see if we can find savings. It does not make sense for everyone to go solar, but for most of us, it does. Now, if it turns out we can find you savings and your home is a great fit for solar, it would be mutual beneficial for us both to schedule another 10 to 15 minute call to see what next steps look like or to hold off for now. Does this work for you? Why am I asking them at the end, does this work for you? Mutual agreement to submit to the process. Also mutual agreement if we find out that we find savings, we jump on another call to see what the next steps look like. They can also say no, they can throw in an objection to that. No matter what they do, I want before and between every stage in any process, you wanna get the customer ahead of time to mutually agree on the outcome that you want. So I know at the beginning that before any consultation, whether in home or on the phone, I know that eventually we're gonna to get to the point where I wanna get them to finance. And I know that it would make sense for anybody to go to finance if they felt like their needs were being met and we found them savings. So the best thing that I could do is before my presentation say, hey, you called me out here today, Brad, to basically see if I can find you savings. Now, if we do find you savings and you like our company and you like everything we have to offer, it would be mutually beneficial for us to see exactly what all your options look like after that. And so if I'm able to do so today, I think, again, it would be mutually beneficial for you to get all of the information so you can make the best decision. Does that make sense? Right. So, again, just kind of see planting the next steps. And that way, when we get to get to credit, get to finance, it's not like this big ass for the ID where we're sitting there sweating like, ah, I don't know how to do it. They already said that they would do it earlier. Um, after this, we're rolling in right to what Brian said, the discovery questions. And this is something that I want to talk to the setters about as well before you jump off of any call for any appointment. Anybody who's doing any Zoom or phone consultations on the first call, do not move forward without a pain point. And for setters, this is like a new thing that we're going to stress, but it should be in the notes really what that customer's pain point was. The first part of us walking into the home and sitting down with the customer, that's the thing that's ringing in our mind the whole time. It's like, all right, where's the pain? Where's the pain? Where's the pain? AKA, how can I help them the most? How can I help them the best? I'm looking for where they're looking for financial help in their life so that I can position my offer that way. And if I'm a setter on the phone setting that appointment and I'm striking up a conversation, I'm telling them about solar, I have to be listening so hard to what it is that they're lacking financially or is it the utility company they really want to get away from? Or, you know, is it like, again, I'm an elder, I'm passing down the house. I want to have a last feel good purchase, but I also want to add equity to the home before I pass it down. I need to know exactly what that is before I move forward. You want to be able to move to each stage with confidence. There's nothing worse than like filling out the close sheet and feeling like, yeah, I don't know if this is going to get it done. Like, we'll see what happens. That's like leaving everything up to chance. I like to know like when I come in the home, like what's about to happen. You know what I mean? And obviously we can't tell for credit, but I can tell if I can get them to credit or not. Like pretty much most like within the first 15 to 20 minutes most of the time, depending on how cold they are. Um, if Zoom or phone, have the customer pull up docs while you're on the call. Biggest thing is you guys want to stay on the phone while they pull up the docs. Not like, ah, uh, the docs are in your, your inbox, take a look at them, and the customer's like, okay, yeah, I'm going to take a look at those and then get back to you. You want to say, hey, the documents were just sent over. I'm going to hang tight while you pull those up. I want to walk you through it. Don't let the customer get ahead and be like, okay, let me take a look at those. I'll take a look at it with my wife or with my husband, and then we'll give you a shout back here in a little bit. We'll give you a shout back on Thursday. Say, I want you to pull up those docs. I want to make sure they went to the email. And then I want to walk you through exactly what it is so that everything makes perfect sense for you guys. And then also you want to build up that excitement, obviously. So if we're, if we're at this point, obviously we found them savings. And we want to reiterate all the, all the essential solutions that we have to the pain points in this process. Perfect. Very excited for you guys. Looks like you got a lot of options. Looks like we are going to be able to help you with X, Y, and Z for your family just in time for school to start or just in time for whatever they're looking for so that they can have this positive energy as they're opening up the docs. Otherwise, if we're too silent and we're leaving it up to chance, what happens? They start to overthink. If you're not speaking to them exactly what you want them to think, 
then their thoughts are going to take over. And most of the time, it's not going to be in your favor or their favor. It's going to be more protective. So you have to over talk their own thoughts in this moment with all the positive things about them moving forward. And you should be saying positive things that matter to them and not just like, ah, this is a good deal for you. You're going to save money. Not that. Like speak to exactly why they want to save money.